this video, I will be talking about my biggest struggle on my medication. There is one side to the medication that has really affected me in every single negative way. I even tried switching medications and I realized that every single medication has this one bad side in common. Now, if you guys want to know what this bad side actually is, stay tuned to the end of this video and let's get this video started. I have been on so many different medications and I've experienced different side effects for each medication. Every medication is different, but there's always gonna be an upside and a downside. I think the very first ADHD medicine that I took was called Focalin. The worst side effect to Focalin were my nerves. I remember that I would always feel nervous on Focalin. Like for no reason, I would just get this butterfly feeling in my stomach. It's like when you go down a roller coaster and your belly drops. That's how I felt most of the time when I was on Focalin. I also had this blinking problem where I couldn't stop blinking. At the end of sixth grade, it seemed like the medicine wasn't really affecting me. It wasn't really doing a lot. So we switched to a different medication called Vyvanse. See, with Vyvanse, I didn't get the nervous side effects or like the, the blinking problem. I got different side effects like the sleeping problem, the appetite, and the racing thoughts. Basically, all the side effects that I talked about in my second episode are the side effects from Vyvanse. In the beginning of seventh grade, I felt like the side effects, like the sleeping problem, was way too strong. So I took a short-term Adderall pill and it only lasts six hours, so it didn't affect my sleep. So right now, I've been just switching off from Vyvanse to Adderall. Like when I need to concentrate, for like a long period of time, I take Vyvanse. And when I only need to concentrate like six hours, I take the short-term Adderall. And when I don't need to concentrate at all, I take no medicine. And that's also a struggle, but I'll talk about that later. All of the medications are different in their own way, but there is one effect that they all have in common. All of the medicines make me less social. I feel like when I'm on my medication, I wanna be locked up in jail, editing videos and playing chess. And I don't want to have anything to do with being social. Like, I don't even want to hang out with people on my medication. Cause like, if I do, I feel like everything will be awkward and I'll feel uncomfortable. When I hang out with people, I want to enjoy myself. I want to enjoy my surroundings and I want to have fun. But the medication kind of prevents me from having fun. See, with my ADHD, I feel like to have fun, I need to be hyper. And I can't really be hyper on my medication. Well, I can still get hyper on my medication, but it's in a different way. Like, me getting hyper on my medication is like, I gotta do all my assignments, I gotta do work, I gotta play chess, I gotta edit videos. Those are the things that give me dopamine on my medication. But when I'm off my medication, playing chess, editing videos, doing my assignments, those things 
will not get me dopamine off my medication. I will just get bored doing those activities. When I'm off my medication, I gotta do something crazy like jump off a pole or ski down a double black diamond or go down a roller coaster. Those are the things that get me dopamine off of my medication. And doing all of those crazy things is how I get my fun. See, I am a completely different person off of my medication. A lot of my friends say that I'm more of a normal person on my medication, but I don't know if I completely agree with that. Me on my medication side of me is like depressed, not social, but extremely productive. And me off my medication side of me is like not productive at all, but extremely hyper and crazy and fun. When I'm off my medication, I just want to sit back and relax and have fun and feel good about myself. And I'm pretty sure most people would rather feel happy and relaxed than down and depressed. And I know what you guys are thinking, like, why would I take my medicine if it makes me feel down and depressed when I can choose to be relaxed and happy? When I'm off my medication, I say stupid things and I do stupid things and I can't concentrate, which means I'll fail all my classes, I won't get a job, I won't go to college, I'll probably end up homeless at 7-Eleven in a cardboard box. So that would probably be my future if I didn't take my medication. And I know for a fact that no one wants to end up homeless at 7-Eleven in a cardboard box. Therefore, I need my medication to get good grades, get into college, have a job, get a family, and have a normal life. That is my estimate future if I do take my medication. I have two options in life right now. I can say, screw the medication and feel happy and relaxed now, but then later end up on the streets homeless and not have a good life. Or I can sacrifice myself now and feel down and depressed right now, but then later have a good future. It's like either feeling good now, but then bad later, or feeling bad now and then good later. That is my decision that I have to choose for my future. Should I say, screw the medication or should I take it? And I think I already chose my answer. I think that I need to deal with the consequences now because taking the medicine is going to help my future self. I know that the side effects are really going to affect me now, but I am willing to sacrifice feeling depressed and sad to have a good life and future. And that is the decision of my future life. Well, this is the end of my series. I finished all the episodes. It's the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please make sure to subscribe.